So I feel like his draft crush is Kadarius Tony. Because oh. Kadarius Tony reminds me a lot of Debo Samuel, but Kadarius Tony runs a lot of plays in the backfield in Florida. True. He's yeah. 5'11, so is Debo is also 5'11. Yeah. But Kadarius Tony is 189 pounds. He's less than Debo Samuel. Yeah. And Kadarius Tony's um, 40 time is 4.41. So both of those guys are very similar. They both run a lot of plays in the backfield. They and are. I feel like if there's better options available in the second round, and Kyle Shanahan is drafting receiver. He's going to draft Kadarius Tony over those guys. And he did that with Debo Samuel when there was A.J. Brown on the board and there was D.K. Metcalf, but instead he wanted a guy where he could use him as a running back and he could use him as a wide receiver. So it's true. Like- he, I, I think if that's the, if he likes these gadget-style wide receivers, he's going to love Kadarius Tony. Yep. I feel like he's going to love Kadarius Tony too. Because honestly, When I watch Florida, it's, board, it's, sure. they kind of remind me of the, of the Niners in the sense that like you got your great tight end in – Pitts, and you got your gadget player in Tony, kind of like Debo and uh, Kittle. But yeah, Tony's great. Only thing is, I think the Niners need someone who can be a like a possession receiver on third down and in the red zone. But Kyle's also shown that he'll take two wide receivers a draft. He did it last year. Did he before? I, I, I feel like we need an actual good ca- pass catcher receiver, like a DK or someone who's actually yeah. like a true pass catcher. Because Kyle Shannon, yeah. even Ayuk, right? Ayuk yeah. has Ayuk was a receipt. He received, he got like seven hundred yards a season, but most of the time, um, Kasha and I just used him to run jet sweeps over yeah. and over again. And if he didn't use Ayuk, it would just be Debo running a jet. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, Kadarius Tony rounds. I think it's highly likely that the Niners take a, a wide receiver at some point between pick thirty and seventy-five. I think you're probably right. I, I so about Tony right. could be the one. Tony, they're going to take someone from that Florida though. offense. Even if there's Brandon Marshall still there or Rondell Moore, he would still take Kadarius Tony over those guys because he loves running jet sweeps and just he just likes that's that. That's right. So he likes. I like Rondell Moore though. He runs jet sweeps too. He runs a four two. He's little, but so is Wes Welker. Maybe Wes Welker would be like, "Little people need love too." Come on, man. I was five seven. What's wrong with that? Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Wes Welker's the wide receivers coach, you know. Yeah, so he could probably make the case for Rondell Moore. Anyway, yep. uh, Niner all day says you're looking spicy. I mean, that's tight. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. you know, I wake I was, up, just I, put this on really quick, and then yeah, that's it. I was uh I was at an Indian wedding the last few days. Have you ever been to one? I have been Man. to so many, many. That's <laughs> that's the look of someone who's they're very long. They, they keep are very going. long. They There's keep so many yeah, don't going. So they many. keep walking in circles, like oh. They're making another trip around the fire. <laughs> trip number six. That was pretty cool, man. I'm anyway, not, I'm surprised there's only three events. Usually there's like six or seven, you know. I think there's so probably six or seven, but we we were we've only we've been in three. So okay, I wish you all, <laughs> we I wish got you good let luck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll see you next time. See you I, it's gonna be an afternoon cone zone tomorrow. I come phone tomorrow. I gotta drive home. So I'll see you, man.